So actually I have a horror story about the old KK hospital and this is actually from the retired nurse who used to work there in the 80s. Oh dang. Okay, so the story is that during her late night shift, that nurse heard a scream where she rushed to the ward where the sound was coming from. She then saw a patient sitting upright with her eyes wide open, breathless and clutching a rosary. Okay, but what was weird right is that the patient just had a hysterectomy which is like the surgical removal of like the uterus. So she should not be able to sit upright in the first place. She will hurt lah. Yeah, and after that right, that patient keep repeating, she's there. She's standing there staring at me. She tried to strangle me. But when the nurse turned around, there was no one there. So this patient described this figure as a lady in white staring straight at her and threatening her. But the thing is, the patient was supposed to be alone in the ward as like all the other beds were unoccupied. So the patient was so terrified that she requested to be discharged. But of course, nurses aren't allowed to do that lah. So instead, she brought the patient to the nurse's station to stay with her. But bro, here is another creepy thing. So the night before, the emergency call buzzer kept going off even when there was nobody in that ward until the nurse had to manually unplug the buzzer. But still, it didn't stop. Unplug and then the buzzer still yeah, rings. Like, no. That's creepy. I wouldn't want to be alone in a hospital ward. La. I'd rather have like friends that I can talk to. <laughs> I mean, if you're hospitalised and everything, got nobody beside you, you still got friends to talk to. That's if that's what you like, lah, bro. But. Got so lonely, you know. She said until like, what? Wow. Nothing to do. I talk to nobody. Lonely. Here, no. <laughs> I talk to imaginary friend. Right, <laughs> right, <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs>